Hi guys. Okay, so I am coming back to share with you a hair update. I think I said I would do these every time I do a relaxer. Um, and basically, um, I did my relaxer about four weeks ago. I think I'm about four weeks post. And uh, this one is something a little bit different. As I mentioned last time, I did get the entire Olaplex system, which I think I did the whole system and I made a video on it, but I wanted to do it within my relaxer. So that was initially what I was gonna do, but yeah, it just didn't work out that way. Hi guys, I just wanted to jump in real quick and let you know that if you wanted to add the Olaplex into your relaxer, you can find the specific instructions to do so on the Olaplex website. Education is at the bottom, click there, resource library, and then relaxers. I opted out of doing this because it says that it can affect the strength of your relaxer and I didn't want to go through doing the relaxer and then not achieve what I wanted. So yeah, that's why I didn't do it. So one of my coworkers that I mentioned before, she actually recently permed her hair and she also uses the Olaplex. So what she did was she used the Olaplex before and then she permed and then she um, used the Olaplex again. And for anyone not familiar, she permed her hair, meaning she went from straight to curly. Um, which requires like a chemical process, right? So um, anyways, that worked for her. I never relax my hair um, when it's wet. It's always dry. So there was no way I could do the old look before and then relax because um, you have to wet your hair. <laughs> so I actually just did it after and I was going to record a video but I thought I've already you know, recorded a relaxing video and I've already recorded a video on the Olaplex system so it just doesn't make much sense for me to now record those together because that's basically all I did was the relaxer and then the Olaplex. <laughs> so I just came to share with you um, my experience. So as far as the way my hair feels, I feel like I, I'm like not really giving this product credit because it's not like a deep conditioner. Like you don't feel like this you know, immense amount of like herbalescence is like, you know what I mean, it's not like that. But my hair feels stronger and I feel like that's the point. Um, I'm not saying that anyone should rush out and go and get this product because it is kind of pricey, but I do think that it is something that I'm like, I'm servicing my hair, I'm making my hair and it's quality much, much healthier. And that's kind of like my goal. So even if, you know, I can't see it as this isn't something to make my hair look better, it's just to make the quality of my hair better as far as like building the bonds back up. I can say without a shadow of a doubt, my hair is stronger, it feels stronger. But like as far as like the softness and it feels moisturized, like I do that stuff on a regular basis. So I can't really give that credit to Olaplex if that makes any sense. Am I gonna continue to use it? Yes, because I bought it and I still have some left. <laughs> and will I purchase it again? Yes, likely, because I do relax my hair. So um, to have a product that would help me to fix some of the damage that um, the relaxing does, I feel like it's good. So, yeah, that's kind of the whole Olaplex thing. Um, with my relaxer, before my relaxer, I actually did clip my ends. I was just, I didn't like the way that they looked, so I did clip my ends. Um, as far as, um, I have like, unfortunately, some sad news. Uh, and like, I feel like in all of my videos with like when I mentioned products, almost all of them, I mentioned the Chi Keratin Leave-In uh, Conditioner, or if I even do my hair, like if I'm doing a style. I use that stuff on my hair like religiously. And sadly, I have not been able to find it anywhere. So, um, I had to get a temporary change, which is um, the Multi 12-in-1 Rusk Miracle Treatment, weightless, and I got this from TJ Maxx, it was $9.99. And this is comparable, I have to say. Like, I can appreciate, you know, the way that this is making my hair feel. Um, will it be a complete replacement for the Chi Keratin? I don't know. I mean, maybe. It, it actually works pretty well, I have to say. Like, I don't feel like much of a difference between how it feels when I use the Chi or when I use this. So, it might be a new replacement, which is good, seeing as this, you know, there, there's plenty at TJ Maxx, but I did not find my favorites. Um, and they have it like on Amazon for like way more than I feel like I should have to spend because I don't typically spend that much. So they're price gouging, at least that's how I feel. So, no. <laughs> um, anyways, so that's what I've been using instead of my 
you know, regular leave-in. And another thing, I haven't been using coconut oil on my hair as much as I used to, which I find to be a little odd. I've been using it on my body more than anything. <laughs> but I don't use it as much as I used to, so I do plan to start to incorporate that back into my hair regimen. Um, and I say that because I don't really have one. Like, you know, I just kind of, I'm really low maintenance when it comes to my hair, so, um, yeah. So, I wanted to mention a couple new products that I purchased, um, and if you are in the market for getting things, you probably want to go and get this one really soon, because I think there was only, where the heck did I buy this? I forgot. Was that Walmart? I think I was at Walmart. I think it was Walmart. I'm not sure, but anyways, this is the Raw Shea Butter Restorative Conditioner with sea kelp and argan oil, moisturized and fortified dry damage to, or transitioning hair. I don't listen to all of that. I, I do, you know, whatever I want with the products that I purchase, so I'm not transitioning and you know, it's not exactly dry or damaged, but this is something good I want to use. This had a 50% more than it normally has, and it was the same price. Gosh, I don't know why I'm drawing a blank on where I bought this stuff. Like, why? That's causing a problem. <laughs> I can't remember. Um, if I can remember correctly, it was Walmart. It was either Walmart. No, I probably have to know if this was TJ Maxx and I've had it there. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If I can figure out where I bought it, I'll put it in the description box below. But basically, I get 50% more for the same price. And I saw just a few of these there and the regular size ones. So, you want to go out and get it if I knew where I bought it. <laughs> so... Sorry, I'll figure out where I got it. But this stuff is really good. You can also, so it says that I think the best thing about it is um, it's a leave-in or rinse-out conditioner. It detangles, moisturizes, and restores lifeless damaged hair. Perfect for transitioning chemically treated hair to natural. Um, it's sulfate-free and color safe. So I really like this stuff. Um, I haven't used it like a whole bunch of times. I've used it like twice, and I like it. So same price, 50% more. Why not? Um, the other thing I purchased was this restorative hair mask argon magic and it basically i got this from tj maxx as well was 7.99 and i just wanted to try something new i haven't used a new like deep conditioner in a while so i wanted to try um something a little bit different and so far so good i've only used it once so once i use it again i'll let you know what i think um that's pretty much it for my hair update for now um and yeah i'll come back with any other updates oh i haven't been flattering my hair i thought it would be flattering much more but i've only did it like twice i think this year so and i probably won't do it too many more times so <laughs> um yeah i think the last time i flat ironed my hair was at the video that i recorded um for my channel so aside from that my hair is doing well, it is flourishing, and I also want to thank all of the new subscribers that I have on my channel. Um, I do have another video coming out just answering some of my most frequently asked questions um, with the products that I use and then I guess tools that I use or maybe really a tool that I use because I get so many questions about it so I feel like, you know, why not just put it all in a video. Um, and yeah, that is pretty much it. I hope that you guys like this video. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And have a great, great night. Bye.